You're at the free throw line at the nail. It's right there. There's that little nail, and you're going to face him, though. Right there. Your offense, defense is going to be right underneath the basket. So you're going to be right underneath the basket. You don't know which way he's going to go, but what you have to do is you pass him the ball, and you have to get one foot outside of the three-point line. So it's just a quick, when you're here, I'm going to take your spot, and I toss it. As soon as I toss it, you can go either way. But I'm here, and you have to touch. Well, now I'm in a recovery situation. You can step up and play defense just like a regular secondary defender. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to try to score, finish, do whatever you want with. You know that I'm trailing because I just got beat, but I also got a secondary defender right there recovering. That happens a lot of times in the game, right? You beat your guy, your guy has a bad closeout, and it happens. So we're going to work on it. Hold up, you ready? Get down low, it's going to be ripped through. Go, good, get there, get the touch, touch, go. Good, good. And then we rotate up number 11. You would take the top, you would rotate right there, and then you'd be right there. Obviously, you could have a line. I always like doing it with three people just so we get a lot of reps. Go, touch, 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 touch. Good, good, perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, rotate up. So everybody gets a chance. You're right there, 11, 11, you're up. Go, good, hold on, hold on, Hey, number 14, hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on. You gotta touch, you're not guarding him, you're just touching out here. He's gonna beat you, we know that. That's why it's called back close out there. Good. Touch outside, touch outside, get back, get back. Good. And stop. Let's go one more time through. We're one for three right now. One for three right now. Levin, you're up. Good. Go, 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 go. Touch outside. Good. Good. Two for four. Keep going. We're gonna try to get three for six. If we get a 50% uh, return, then we're doing pretty good. Come on, come on, touch it, finish it, finish it. Nice job. One more. Let's see if we can get four. Let's see if we can get four. Come on. Touch, touch, touch and go. Touch and go. And done. So that would be really good. That's just a situation. That's a game situation I like to work on. Those are kind of just very basic drills. I wanted to show you guys. We're going to break down the teaching now. And those are some of the drills I would definitely encourage you guys to do in pre-practice just to get them kind of going full speed and realizing that they need to kind of, uh, you know, make sure that that practice is something worthwhile. Too many times practices, when you open up practices, they're like three-man leave where players are cat catching and traveling and, and just doing layups that are kind of not going to ever happen in the game. So instead of doing three-man leave, that's old school, do some stuff like this that actually matters, okay? If you are going to do three-man leave, I'll give you one drill. Have you guys all get your regular three-man leave lines. So you got the ball there, you guys are out. You three can come up behind them. Uh, you two can hop in too. And I'll grab uh, two more basketballs just so we have this. But if you're gonna do three-man weave, get back into the normal traditional three-man weave lines, uh, just to stay out there on the wing. And say you guys are right here, like right there, and right here, back up. Okay, so these are my three guys. What you can do right here is make it a little more game-like. I'm gonna hit you, okay? When you catch the ball, you're gonna drive it hard with your left hand, because you're dribbling left, and you're gonna pass it to him, who you're sprinting to the wing. After you pass it to him, you're gonna close out on him and slide one on one, and you, once you pass it to him, are gonna sprint around to help side. So if I pass it to you, you're not gonna travel, you're gonna catch it, dribble left, dribble left, I'm sprinting around, if you pass it to him, it's a live and close out, I'm the help side guy right here, so I would've helped out there or helped out baseline. We good on that? All right, let's, let's go through it. So hey, once you pass, you're on a dead sprint, close out. Once you pass in there, go. Go, go, go. Good. Pass, close out, close out. Good. Nice. Perfect, perfect. Next move up, next move up. You guys go outside, go outside. Go. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Get the help box, get the help box. Good. Good. Perfect. Here we go again. Let's go. Good. This is a way better version of the three-man lead that you guys are used to. Good. Come on, number nine. You got a better close out than that. Here we go again. Let's go. Good. Tap, tap. Nice. Perfect. One more, one more. Good. Drive it. Kiss. And stop. So those are some pre-practice drills. I just wanted to throw those out to you guys so that you guys can see some stuff that kind of gets people going, gets people thinking more. Now, what I want you guys to do is you guys can all chill out for a second on the bench. I don't want to, I'm going to pull up a couple guys at a time to uh, do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one and two out here right now. Everybody else can sit down and I'm going to rotate you guys up so you guys can stay fresh. Now the first topic we're going to talk about is finishing. Finishing is something that I think is one of the most important things that people don't work on because they assume that if you can make layups, you can make finishes. So what I'm going to do is you guys are right here, you guys are on this line, and you're dribbling with your right hand, okay? You're dribbling with your right hand, you're fine right here. What I want you to do is you're going to go straight down the lane, you're not allowed to land inside the lane, and I want you to shoot a right hand like kind of a little mini hook. 
So if I'm on you right here and you're driving in the game and you have to shoot this shot, you have to shoot that little extended kind of right hand hook floater. I don't want it to be like a big time, you know, hook like a big man would make, but it's just right here, a little touch, where you have to keep the ball kind of on your outside shoulder, okay? Ready? Go. Good, good. That's right, good. Good, good. Keep going, keep going. Good. Off the glass, off the glass. Good, that's okay. One for four. One for five. Good, one for six. Let's go left hand. Let's go left hand. Same thing, just shoot it off your left hand, right foot. Wrong foot, that's right. One for one. Good, one for two. We're gonna shoot six up again. Good, one for three. Nice job. Two for four. Come on, hit this, hit this, hit this for us. Wrong hand. Two five. Good, three six. You can see right there we went, uh, what were we over here? One for six and three for six. So we're four for 12 right now. That's about the finishing rate that you guys probably get in your games. And so this is the first skill that we're gonna work on. I just call this a mini hook finish. Okay, mini hook. And what we wanna do is we wanna have the ability to finish when the defender is on our side. So I'm gonna give you guys solutions for every problem. In finishing, you need to have finishing solutions when you're in front of the defender, when the defender's on your side, and when the defender's in front of you. So our first solution is basically when we're on our side, because this happens a lot of times. And so we have two solutions. Number one is say he's my defender right here. Our first one is this mini hook, which means I'm driving down. What I want to do is I want to get my shoulder right in the middle of his chest, because that will eliminate him jumping up to try to block our shot. If I give him space, then he's going to be able to contest it. But if I get into him, he's not going to be able to jump up over. So the first thing I do is I take this last dribble, my chest is right on his, right, my shoulder is right on his chest. After I do that, then I just explode up, the ball goes, should go right through my shoulder, and then I'm just doing a soft, just like you would on a, teaching a hook shot, you're gonna just roll the ball off of these two fingers. So when you shoot it, it's right there, through your shoulder, I always say through your shoulder, and then release the basket on the ball by imparting it off these two fingers. So that's the teaching point, it's just right here, shoulder into to them, and then finish high and extended right there. That's the first solution. The second solution is the next one we're gonna work on, which is, he's right here, and I call this shoulder roller. And this is something you see a lot of the undersized guards use in the NBA. We're driving, and we're saying we're right here. So right now, I don't have an advantage. Maybe I'm not good at putting that soft touch, especially with the guy on me. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lunge and throw my right leg on my outside leg, and the ball as far downhill as I can. Downhill meaning down towards the baseline. So I throw it down here, bang. Then what I'm gonna do is, notice I'm getting narrow right now, so that I can step in front, and then I can shield off and finish. You guys see like maybe Steve Nash, Seth Curry, uh, Chris Paul, all these guys use it. Where I'm driving it just quick, quick, and then I'm right there. So it's almost like a Euro step, except for you're gonna go down and then in, instead of like a Euro step where you go out and then in. So if you're driving down with slow motion, you're gonna take a big right step, a longer right step, like lunging it really narrow, and pick up the ball at the same time. So it's here, ball and foot hit at the same time, bang, and then take this step inward and then finish it, okay? That's all I want to do. So walk through it one time and then let them see it full speed. So drive in, step long, in, and finish. Perfect. So if I'm here, go ahead, dribble. Good, finish, perfect, shield me off. Nice, dribble, good, perfect. Now, let me get you two so when we take that ball. Here's the drill to work on it. You got the ball. You're right there. You're right here on the other side. You're dribbling right there. Look, you're dribbling stationary right there. Get low though. So dribbling stationary. Dribble, dribble. You're going to be right on his hip. When I say go, you guys are going to be live. So you're going to have to drive down and shield him off. You're going to be trying to throw him as far as you can into that recycle bin over there. Okay? So I'm taking your spot. You say go, and I'll take your spot. Good. Now, what he's going to try to do is, now I took your spot, you're our lead. When you take this first step, so you're on my side, remember? You're, turn this way, face the basket, yep. You're right there. Your first step should be here. So when he says go, boom, and then you can't push me anywhere over there, okay? So that's what I want you working on, is that first step. You're going to get a perfect dance him. All right, dribble it, start by dribble. Where's your, where's your first step at? Right down here, and set long low. Go! Perfect. Good, that's okay, that's perfect. Now you're on offense, you're on defense. That was perfect. So take that first step over. Dribble, go. Good, perfect. 
Those are the three solutions. And obviously you can see they struggle with it. That mini hook, then you've got right here the shoulder war, and then the third step is just, I call it a veer, where you just veer to the front of the rim. If you have those three solutions, and you see it's hard for players to make them, but you need something to be able to finish when a player is on your side. Those three finishes are the easy ones. Next one is, say there's a defender, say number eight right there is taking a charge on the block. We've got a couple finishing solutions if the defender's in front of them. So the defender's in front right now, the one that I'm going to show you guys today is a pro hop. The pro hop, all it is, is it's a good way to land on two feet. And I'm going to show you why it's time to travel in a second. You're driving down, you're going to come to a jump stop, and the ball is going to hit at the same time as your feet. So if I'm coming down here, ball and feet hit at the exact same time. What it does is it frees the defender because he thinks we're going to plow into him. When we do that, we can jump to the side, again, land on two feet. If you land one, two, a lot of referees will call it a travel. If you land on two feet, it's not a travel. Also, notice where I pick the ball up. Some people mess up and pick the ball up here, and then jump, which is obviously a travel. The ball has to pound at the same time as your feet. You have to pick the ball up in air or where your feet land. So when I'm right here, Right hand, 